So I'm just going to use some uh, cheap charcoal lighter fluid to clean all this uh, uh, high temp gear off or high temp grease off of it and a toothbrush. And we're just going to clean this thing up really well with some paper towels and stuff. Thanks for uh, cleaning it up for me there, uh, Sandra. You're welcome. Rolling. Okay, so now I'm going to inspect these gears. I'm going to put on my uh, old man glasses and I'm going to use one of these, uh, uh, I think it's like 2.5 or 3.0 magnifier thing for like jewelers and crappy little magnifying thing. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to look really closely at my teeth and my gears and look for any problems. Any, any dings, any bad spots. So far, you can see a little wear, but everything looks good. And also, I'm going to look at the uh, uh, the very edges, like this, not in between the grooves, but the very so top surface, the flat area across here. Because if the flat area across there is too thin, is worn too thin, then the gear is liable to break. So I'm looking at the flats on the very upper edge of the teeth, and they all look pretty good. There's a little wear here and there, but it doesn't look bad. The same thing here i'm looking at the flats on the very outer surface and i'm also looking in between uh, to make sure that there is nothing bad so the gear is in pretty good shape so that's good and there's not too much wear here because that rides the inner edge of a needle bearing so if that's got a, like, a step or anything in it that definitely would be bad that one looks good uh, this one rides the inside of a needle bearing, so if there's a step in here, it would be bad. Looks pretty good, though. Um, the teeth on this thing look good. There's supposed to be a step here. You see that little step? Hard to see in the camera, probably, but there's supposed to be a little catch and step there because this is where the actual bearing rides, and this is uh, the gear that it runs. And I can see some wear, but nothing bad. Also, the very, you know, the flats on top of the teeth. I don't see any that are worn thin where the gear has worn thinner. So it looks pretty good. I think we got a good set of gears. Let's take this guy off. Now I'm under it really well. I can then do this. See that? Mm -hmm. You see how it's actually very easy to get it off of here. I'm just not really hitting it very hard because I don't want to cause it to scratch this. I don't want it to cause damage. So you can see how easy it really is once you start smacking it directly straight up. It's not very much pressure. So hitting it this way is just so we can get under it good. There we go. And then we'll clean it up and we'll check it to make sure we didn't put any burrs on it. And uh, we'll come back. Cut. Rolling. So we got a little bit of dust from that uh, soft, from this soft wedge that we used on our magnets. We'll have to get that off of there. Uh, we'll have to clean that up a little bit more. But uh, yeah, it looks really good on the bottom. No, uh, no scars. Yep. So we did good. And the old, oh yeah, you can tell the old bearing is, see it feels pretty good, it feels good, you can tell it's dry though, so we'll replace that bearing as well. So we got a couple of gears here, and bottom housing now, uh, we know this gear is, or this bearing is bad, we're going to replace that one. Sometimes there's a bearing here too, depending on what kind of shaft it comes out of the motor, this one happens to not have one, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock these bearings out. Open this up, get a good spread on it, and that's what uh, I had cut this or ground this down to fit. Uh, it fits inside here, it fits inside here quite well, but it actually sits nicely on top of the bearing. This uh, board on there, maybe, and then uh, get a better hammer. Where's the other hammer? There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, that way we keep that thing nice and soft on the bottom. Ooh, popped right out. There's that bearing. Still feels pretty good. Looks like we're going to put a new one. And then this other thing. What do I want to do with here is? 
I made another thing uh, that fits in here and it just clears this aluminum it's just a piece of scrap metal that I made or used and welded or some crap I had and of course it looks like this but uh, from the back side we're going to add it and I'm going to smack that pretty good too there we go and that's definitely a bad bearing that's the one that felt, felt really bad so after several hundred thousand miles of use all right so now we have the housing we have the gasket out we've got all our screws out of the holes uh, we have all our bearings pulled out uh, the housing's not damaged maybe I'll probably take a stone and go over this to make sure we didn't put any dent or dings in it uh, let me find a stone cut rolling okay so I'm gonna take a just a little sharpening stone I'm gonna go over this thing to make sure that it's nice and flat so that it seals to the top of the turbo and we didn't ding it we gotta put it back together make sure there's no high spots in it there's a little bit of something there but I don't think it's anything we did a little bit of warpage there you see a little little tiny bit there's nothing we can't rub out of it we'll rub the housing off <laughs> let's get those high spots out of it just because I'm a stickler for that kind of stuff Top side, same thing. Uh, looks like we need to clean up our stone a little bit here. Need a little brake cleaner on the stone to get some of this aluminum out of it. Wash that aluminum out of that stone. Kind of dirt. Here, so. yep. All right, I'll clean that again when we go to I'll sandblast this thing and clean it up, and we'll do this again when we get it sandblasted. See how she looks. It's got quite a bit of dirt on it. So, uh, yeah, let's uh. Let's sandblast this housing and clean it up. What do you think? Cut. I'm just gonna use my little gun here and uh, just to kill some of this. This paint is really hard to get off of here with a sandblaster. I do have a little tiny sandblaster over there behind me or behind you, camera. Um, so uh, just to make it a little easier, I'm just gonna like touch this paint with this sanding disc. I'm not gonna bear down or anything like that. I'm just trying to try to get some of the Scratch the paint up a little bit to make it easy to sandblast. That's what I've been hard to get in there I got most of it that looks pretty good and then we'll sandblast the rest of it off cut 
see through the corner here where it's got a little bit of you can still see quite a little bit there in that corner it's not my sandblaster window is a little bit worn out but uh, i'm just gonna go over this thing and sandblast it and clean it up rolling okay so i sandblasted the housing looks pretty good now and here's are nice and cleaned up i'm going to take this gasket i'm going to hang it up here uh and i'm going to give it some silicone based conformal coating to help rebuild it uh a little bit that's what i use generally on them uh, when i have an old gasket i want to try to reuse because i can't get a new one say so this is uh you know the gasket's in pretty good shape. I'm just trying to trying to help it a little bit so that when it goes back together, we don't have any sealing issues. I'm just going to give it a nice. I wouldn't get the camera too close. A nice heavy layer of this stuff. That's going to dry like a silicone uh, outer coating to help the gasket a little bit there. I'm going to try to get it from the back side here. So that we can reuse the gasket. There we go. Give it a nice rubbery silicone touch up paint there. So it helps to seal it. And then, um, yeah, why don't we polish these gears? Uh, I've got some 600 grit sandpaper. Because we had it in the vise, I'm going to go ahead and just touch this just to make sure we didn't scratch it with some 600 grit, just real lightly. What I'm gonna do anyways. I'm gonna take a good look at it. Make sure it looks really good. There's no scratches. It looks pretty good. And uh, this one here, I'm gonna touch it as well, even though we didn't put it in the vise, just to make sure it looks all right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now this one here, um, the replacement bearings are a little tight. Going on this shaft, going on this shaft, and going on this shaft. Uh, that's that small bearing we had to use the wedge to get off. So what I generally do is I like to polish these up a little bit just to the, so the bearings aren't quite as bad to get on there. This bearing though should be tight no matter what. It should, it should go on nice and snug because if it doesn't, it'll fall off when you go to install the actuator onto the turbo. But the, this bearing here, uh, you can polish this a little bit and make it where it's not so hard to get the bearing on and off and as well as that one. So um, I'm just going to put it in my lathe here. I mean, you can probably do it by hand, but I'm going to cheat a little bit. Put it in my lathe here, and uh, we'll just touch it up like this with a little bit of... Uh, this is a uh, 400 grit, so I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to hit it with a 400 grit sandpaper and uh, just sort of clean it off, clean all the old gunk and tarnish off of it. That way the bearing goes on nice and easy when we go to replace it or put it back together. Not really taking anything out of it. There we go. That looks a lot better. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. And the other way. I'm just using it with my hands, so it's not too perfect. See, as long as it's close. I just didn't want it wobbling real bad. So I'm just gonna take this uh, 400 and just clean this one again, just like the other one, so the bearing goes on. I say we don't want to take anything out of it because we want the bearing to be snug on this end right here. And of course, we want to do the same thing here so that this bearing can go on without any trash or tarnish. Get a nice, clean assembly there between those two surfaces just to take the dirt off. All right. Let's clean those up. And then this bearing should, uh, the bearing should go on when we go to put it back together. Cut.